So on page 66, we're doing number three. Okay, this is three on page 66. And it's a cylinder, so what are we trying to find? Volume. Volume of? Good. Of cylinder. And I'm going to use the same formula that I did. Volume equals capital B times H. But this capital B stands for area of the base. What kind of base do I have? Circle. Good, a circle. So area for a circle is pi r squared, and then don't forget the height. Why is it times height times height? Say that again. Because the height. Why is it like this? Why is it times height? Oh, for the triangular one? Because yeah, you've got two different heights. Because remember, the capital B stands for area of the base, which gives me just that flat one little area. But when we're talking about volume, we're stack it's almost like we're stacking up that area over and over and over again and giving a height of it. Because we want to figure out how much space is inside a container maybe. Not just flat surface like carpet, but the entire thing inside it. And that's why we have to figure out how tall is my prism and then how much of that can fit in. Okay. So something like a triangle that has two measurements of height, one of the measurements is going to be for the triangular base, like this line right there. The other one is going to be how tall is my prism, which would be this measurement right there. Okay? Oh, okay. Okay, so let's, okay, back to my cylinder. I've got volume of a cylinder is pi times r, r squared times h. Pi, if I'm estimating, is going to be 3. Does it give me the radius yes. for number 3? Yes, it does. What is it? 2. two. What happens if it doesn't give me the radius? Cut diameter. Yeah, cut the diameter in half. And then the height is also 2. I don't think we're going to have to round very much here. But before I, I'm going to multiply anything else, I've got to do this. What's 2 squared? 4. Okay, so 3 times 4 times 2 is what I end up with. I can do that. I don't have to change anything. What do we want to multiply first? 3 and 4. Okay, 3 and 4 is? 12. 12 times 2? 24. Very nice. And what are my units? Inches cubed. Some of you want to say cis squared. Okay, inches cubed. And will my actual answer be the same or will it be different? I don't know. Let's see. Did I change any of the numbers? No, I didn't. Oh, 3.14. Good. It'll be a little bit different. Yeah, it'll be a little, a little bit more. So 3.14 times 4 times 2 gives me 25.12. Rounded to the nearest tenth is 25.1 inches cubed.